How's it going everybody? So I wanted to talk a little bit about buffing and the effects of buffing from allies or yourself. So let's take a look at my magic attack. 8,517. Now when I use spell boost, my magic attack is 10,824 okay so let's remember that with the spell boost it's at 10,824 what I'm gonna do is use a bishop and I'm going to use prairie air So the spell boost went away. Now my magic attack is 9143. I'm also going to add revelation onto me. And that's also from the bishop. You see the magic attack went to 9386. Now if I spell boost, My magic attack now is 11,813. So if you have a bishop, casting those two buffs would assist your damage. Now, magic attack power would be the parrier, limit break would be the revelation, and then the attack power is the spell boost. So let's let the spell boost wear off. And I'm gonna clear all the stats. So now we're back to 8,487 magic attack. Now I'm going to use a minstrel. And I'm going to use cleave song. Now my magic attack is 8,598. I'm going to use wisdom song. Now my magic attack is 9,592. I'm going to spell boost. Now my magic attack is 12,121. I'm going to add revelation. And now I'm also going to add Perrier. Now, the bishop's buffs are there, but my other buffs are fading, so let me add the buffs back on and show you the damage. My magic attack is now 13,189. So if you remember, with no buffs, my magic attack was only 8,500. This is the type of difference that the magic attack will differ with buffs and without. So as these things are wearing off, I'm going to reset all these buffs and show you one more buff. On top of all these buffs to show you the highest magic attack that I could get. Fourteen thousand zero sixty one with ignition turned on. This is my max magic attack fully buffed. Thank you for watching.